Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you how to download stuff for free easily. And uh, I'm going to show you two different methods, both with their advantages and disadvantages. Um, but, uh, yeah, because downloading large files can be a hell of a job sometimes if you don't want to pay for file hosters. So, uh, I'm going to be showing you how to do that. And over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be uh, posting some full games for people who want to try out games. And uh, in case they want to buy it or not, which is the main reason why I would do it. So, we're going to start. Okay, uh, we're going to need a couple of programs for this. One main major program is WinRAR, and this understands .rar files. So, we take a look over to WinRAR, the um, site which hosts it. Uh, I'm going to provide a full version of it in the link below. And uh, just install that, and that'll, and you'll be able to open up RAR files. I'm pretty sure most people who will know what this program is, because it is widely used. And what it does is it understands RAR files, lets you open them up, and lets you see the files inside. So if you've got multiple parts of a download, all in the same place, you can, you can just open them up, and the full file will be in there. Now... Here is a RAR file, Plants vs Zombies, and uh, to extract it, just open it up, drag and drop it to the directory which you want it at, do that. Then, if uh, just simply with this one, you just need to drag and drop it into the program files, and it's already there for me, so I'm not going to bother doing that. But if you want it, it's the link in the below bottom. Uh, there's a quicker tutorial on how to get that without all the simple how to download and stuff. Okay, my first way of getting files easily. I've done videos about this, my first two videos, is using a cookie editor and getting premium for free from file hosters. Now, the advantages of this is you can get really big files. Um, really fast, but the disadvantage is if there's lots of links, you've got to put in each each every link in. So, and uh, there you go. You can download it fastest, and it'd be really fast. Maybe not my connection, because my connection is disgustingly bad. But yeah, 500 KB a sec. 600, 700, go on. 800. That is really good for me. And I usually never get that. So so you get really good speeds when it's with this, which is a good advantage. The second, my second way of downloading is JDownloader. And I put a link at the bottom below for that. Also, if you want tutorials and how to do that, check my channel out. You can do it for hot file as well. And uh, when you copy a link, Link Grabber will grab it, and uh, you can just continue with that. And uh, Mega Upload is a really good one for J Downloader. It um, because J Downloader can do the key called a capture which proves that you're human for you so uh, you can just stick in loads of uh, links and it'll do it all for you overnight and I also find that you get really good speeds with mega upload for free so that's really good so just literally how to do it you copy link uh, mega upload it'll see it here or check it for you to see if it's active, which is really good because sometimes your links go down, they delete it. Continue with all, and then it will download it for you. It's not working now because I've already got the file. File already exists. But yeah, that's that's the two really good ways and how to download for free um, without having to pay. So subscribe, ask me questions, and uh, request what you want next.